reported to have uh, 20 million photos, and despite the uh, reports, it is not true that 19.9 billion of them are selfies. Uh, you all are familiar with YouTube. I love YouTube. Uh, it's the only place where you can find the profound epic cat fails with, with other sort of uh, content. There are over a billion unique users on YouTube. Over 6 billion hours uh, video watched every month. I think this one is also uh, fascinating. Over 100 hours of new video are uploaded, uploaded to YouTube every single minute of every day. It's not surprising with all this great content and all this great utility that people become literally addicted to their cell phones. And so uh, addiction specialists are coming up with, with a, a name for this thing. And among them uh, is the term nomophobia. And contrary to popular belief, nomophobia is not the fear of former Dodger pitcher Hideo Nomo or his creepy bobblehead doll. I actually have one of those. Uh, it is in fact, the fear of no more mobile phone, no more phobia. It sounds like a, a, a Wayne's movie. Um, and so uh, addiction centers are creating uh, programs for cell phone addiction, just as they would for cigarette addiction, alcohol, or drug addiction. And it's not surprising why. You can see some of the stats up here. Uh, we look on average at our phones over 150 times a day. So you think that we sleep eight hours a day. That means we're looking at our cell phone every six minutes. I actually think that that's low. I look at my cell phone six times per minute, and based on the audience, I think that's about eight minutes. <laughs> uh, another thing that we would be concerned about with, uh, with technology is security, and, and, and rightly so. Uh, it was last uh, Christmas, if you remember, that Target uh, announced that there was a massive breach of their, of their POS system, from the sales system that had exposed some 70 million records, uh, you know, personal and private information, credit card information of their users. I, among and lots of people, had to change their, their credit cards as a result uh, of that. But at 70 million records, you can imagine, that still wasn't even one of the top uh, leaks of, of, of just last year. Adobe uh, announced that over 150, 152 million records had been, had been compromised. Today, 145 million. You might remember back earlier in the year, there was a thing called the heart bleed bug. I have to say that slowly. It is a tongue twister, uh, which exposed more than one out of every six internet servers to some sort of uh, susceptibility of attacks. So you may remember having to change passwords on a number of different uh, number of different sites because of that. And just yesterday, actually, we just received one of our guys just received this. Uh, email from, from Home Depot uh, announcing again that there had been a leak and that email addresses had been, had been exposed and, and stolen. So in addition to, to, to security, uh, some of the other things that, uh, that we're starting to, to see kind of as a backlash to, to all the technology is what I'll call a, uh, a trend or a, 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 a revolt against the permanence of the internet. There's a great line from uh, the movie uh, The Social Network, where they say that the internet is written in ink. Great line. And so people are aware that their privacy is being compromised and that you really can't say anything in anonymity. So a couple of sites have actually come up pr purporting to provide anonymity to, to, um, to internet users. Whisper is one where you is often used to uh, make proclamations, state opinions with, uh, with supposed uh, anonymity. Uh, Snapchat, the two of these and, and others are referred to as kind of the anti-Facebook. So Facebook is, is there to sort of openly proclaim your feelings and your, uh, and your, uh, your activities to people. These sites are there to, uh, to allow you to do that in, in anonymity. Um, we're also seeing people starting to um, feel uh, stress and fatigue as a result of this kind of constant uh, social activity and, and public activity and, and a reported 61% of Facebook users have decided to unplug at some, at some point. <laughs> now uh, we take a look this morning at uh, kind of whimsical look at, at uh, kind of the love and hate relationship we have with, with technology and, and harken back to that, uh, that picture of the, of the, the baby there with, uh, with, with the tablet 
and you know there are a couple of casualties to this uh, love and hate relationship. You know, one of the most interesting ones is that uh, while our kids are are becoming more and more savvy and uh, useful with, with technology, um, you know, I wonder how they're going to be able to to sign their name because they don't teach cursive writing in in school anymore. So we we uh, we've seen a couple of these things kind of die, perhaps uh, perhaps forever. And so we wrestle, you know, as a, as a culture between our cyber selves and, and our human selves and, you know, kind of think back about, uh, you know, that love and hate relationship with, uh, with technology. So at Toshiba, you know, we love technology. We hopefully bring you technologies that are, that are useful. And uh, two of the areas that we believe are, uh, are ongoingly useful to, to mankind are, are um, applications through the cloud and also those that promote uh, eco-friendliness and to talk about how Toshiba is bringing products in both of these categories, I'd like to introduce Joe Contreras, the Director of Product Marketing at Toshiba Americas.